Good morning, Peace Lutheran students, parents, staff, and possibly some guests. And maybe you're watching this in the afternoon, so good afternoon if that's the case. I do have to apologize at the beginning of this video that I am going to be reading off of a script so that I can make sure that all the information is uh, accurate and I don't get off a track and make this video longer than it needs to be. So please bear with me. Jesus tells us in John 16, verse 33, To be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So I am praying that you are finding true peace and joy knowing that God is in control and he is good in all circumstances. He is our compassionate and sovereign Lord. I pray that everyone is staying safe, healthy, and in good spirits. Being of good cheer this time of year can be challenging to begin with, but with the situation, it's very challenging. Being isolated from people and not being able to gather as a school and church has the potential to put a damper on our lives. But praise God for his gift of technology that has allowed us to continue educating his young ones as well as gathering uh, for worship to hear his powerful and comforting word. We also praise God that he is a God of hope and he is with us and he will calm this storm. By now, many of you may have heard that the Michigan Department of Education statement that distance learning does not count as instructional time. Our superintendent of Lutheran schools uh, in Michigan, Mr. Travis Grukey, was quick to meet with other Christian non-public leaders in Michigan regarding this matter and issued a response. I'd like to take a minute to read that response right now. Leaders, educators, and families of our Michigan District Lutheran Schools. Earlier today, the Michigan Department of Education released a statement that public schools cannot count distance virtual learning as instructional time for their students. This statement does not apply to the non-public schools in the state. Our Lutheran Schools of the Michigan District are able to make decisions based on what is best for the students and families we serve and will continue to do so in the weeks to come. It has been a blessing to see our, our schools deliver their curriculum through a variety of means in the past few days. We have many dedicated educators that have adapted in tremendous ways to make sure highly, high quality content is delivered to their students on a daily basis as learning does not stop because we are kept from meeting together in our school buildings. All the work and effort by our teachers and students will definitely count toward their instructional hours. I am grateful for all of you and how our Lutheran schools have come together during this challenging time. If it wasn't forbidden right now, I would give you all a hug. And although we do not know what the coming weeks and months will bring, we do know that we have a risen Savior who promises to be by our side every step of the way. May his love continue to flow to us and through us as we take things day by day, trusting in his grace and mercy. Serving him, Mr. Travis Grukey, Superintendent of Schools in Michigan District, LCMS. I know that these times uh, may not be the most convenient of circumstances. However, we continue to gather, grow, and go ultimately uh, for both church and school. And we will continue to educate and minister both academically and probably most importantly during this time, spiritually. In addition to Mr. Grukey's encouraging and comforting response, I would like to say thank, thank you to all of you for being patient with us as we have had very little time to plan for a distance learning program that would continue our school instruction, minus the opportunity to be in a school building. Parents, I want to thank you especially for your prayers, your support, and all the work you are doing to help us partner uh, to continue your child's education. Together, we will work to the best interests of our children and their spiritual and academic growth. Instruction is and will continue. We have stated and are working hard so that your students' education is still high quality of the situation that is in hand. We are going to do our best to make sure your, our students are ready for whatever level they will be at the next school year. Even though the governor has ordered people to stay home, we are honoring our currently sit scheduled spring break. Uh, we, in other words, that will be a official spring break. There will be no instruction. We will then have three days after, which is our Holy Week, 
April 6th, 7th, and 8th, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, for instruction. Your teachers will be in contact with you on that. And then we'll be taking time on Thursday, which is Monday, Thursday, for our chapel. So chapel will not be will not be on Wednesday during Holy Week. Pastor Matt will be leading us in chapel on Thursday at 10 a.m. And I highly encourage all of us to be a part of that. And I believe it'll be on Facebook Live. And then Good Friday and Easter Sunday, we will have information on those services and how they will look through communication through the church. We will continue to communicate with details of what will be going on after Easter. There is a saying that it takes a village to raise a child. How especially true that is in this situation. It will take all of us pulling together to get through these next few weeks. We will continue giving you updates regarding the plan going forward until our hopeful and current plan return to the school building on April 14th. We miss, honestly, I miss you all. Seeing your smiling faces every morning come in uh, and the bounce that you have in the hallways as you go to your classes, seeing and hearing all of the amazing things that you're doing in your classrooms, in your homerooms with art, music, technology, Spanish, and PE, and all those other activities that you do partake in, and the joy that you share with me every time you do something and you're successful with. Those are all things that I miss, but I know that this is for the best of us right now that we are uh, following and continuing to do what our government is telling us to do to keep us all safe. Uh, I can't wait till that excitement begins again in our school building. If you'd like some time to pray, please let me know, and I will have someone from our prayer team call you. Uh, If you have other needs, please reach out to us and let us know if there's something that we can do. If you have academic needs for your children, please let me know and I will do what I can to make sure that your child is assisted in everything that they need to have done. And may the peace of our risen Lord and Savior, which passes all of our understanding and troubles of this world, bless and keep you. Thank you.